Now, in a recent video I talked about the physical size of the resistors and how you can determine the wattage of it. And we also went over the 4-band resistor color code. And you can actually identify the resistor value. Next, we're going to talk about the purpose of a resistor. And it has many different purposes. And this particular example, I'm going to use it as a current limiting resistor. And what I mean by that, current limiting, this resistor will re resist the amount of current going through, but allow the voltage to get to the device. And I will go through and I will show you the different resistor sizes, and then we'll talk about what I mean by current flow. So, right now in the circuit, I have a 100 ohm resistor, and then we will go to a 1000 ohm resistor, and then we'll go to a 10k resistor, a 10,000 ohm resistor. Now, current flow is the amount of energy being pushed through the device. Think of it this Okay, we're going to use water as an example for current. And the hole at the center of this cap, that's going to be the resistance. The higher amount of the resistance means the smaller amount of water going through. But the voltage is still allowed to go in. So if we increase, or if we decrease the amount of resistance, the volume of the water or current is thicker. And if you have no resistance, all the current can go through. So now we're going to be using this as a demonstration as well. This is a 100 ohm resistor. And this is the least amount of resistance in this video. And you're going to see how bright this LED is. Fairly bright, right? Now let's use a different resistor. Next, we'll use a 1000 ohm resistor. And, and by doing this, we're closing that gap in that water bottle just a hair. There's the 1000 ohm resistor. And you can clearly tell from the 100 ohm to 1000 how much it's allowing through this. Next, we'll go to the one key. The 10K resistor, and it's going to be the most, the highest resistance in this video, and it's going to resist the most amount of current going through it. Now, current, I didn't really demonstrate that with the water bottle. Current is the amount of force behind the energy of that water. So if you gently squeeze the water bottle and you have a small stream come out, that's going to be this resistor, the 10K resistor. Now if you take and you squeeze it as hard as you can and the stream goes 3 feet, that's this 100 ohm resistor. This here is limiting not only current, but the amount of voltage that's going through it. Actually, it's just resisting the current, allowing the current to go through that diode. Yes, the LED is a diode. We'll talk about that later next week. So I hope you learned something about these resistors and how they work. They're kind of cool. Leave me a comment, questions below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Stay tuned next week. I will be talking about diodes. What this guy is here.
is a type of a diode. We'll be getting into LEDs, we'll be getting into diodes, we'll be getting into rectifier diodes such as bridges, and we'll be getting into zener diodes, which is kind of acts like a resistor in a reverse form. But we'll talk about that next week. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.